if the billionaire nepotism baby characters on Succession were going to live in an Ori expandable apartment, which one would it be and why? Let's roll that fake Succession intro that I made out of stock footage and stock music so that we can't get a takedown notice from Warner Brothers. Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Ori, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Ori, and we work with developers to make some of the coolest apartments you've ever seen that turn cramped spaces into expanding apartments that let you stretch out and live in the city comfortably. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for weekly tours of these spaces, interviews with residents, updates about new buildings coming to your city, and as always, don't forget to check the link in the description of this video to find an Ori apartment near you. Today, we're talking about a show that I love and America loves, Succession. Now, I don't really think any of these characters would honestly live in an Ori expandable apartment, given by what we see of their homes on the show, but just for fun, let's speculate where each one would land. What do you think? Do we have these characters pegged, or do we miss the mark? Let us know in the comments. Let's get to it. Kendall sees himself as a little bit of a tech guru with his finger on the pulse of the people. He longs to be as cool and confident and forward thinking as a Silicon Valley executive, even though he wouldn't know CSS from C++. It's for that reason that I think he would live in one of the expandable two bedroom apartments at Springline Residences in Menlo Park, California. It's a stunning building with luxury amenities, and not to mention it's just three miles away from famous Sand Hill Road, where all of Silicon Valley's investors congregate. Alexander Skargard's Swedish CEO character loves nature, as evidenced by Gojo's fancy outdoor retreat in season five. He's athletic and adventurous, so being close to hiking trails and outdoor activities is a must. A natural fit for him would be the Lucy in Boise, Idaho. Boise is famous for its proximity to incredible outdoor activities, and the building has a great bike room, and they even organize group rides for residents. As the wannabe politician of the family, Connor would most definitely want to reside in the nation's capital. A great choice for him would be Big Sky Flats in Northeast Washington, DC. From here, he would have an easy commute to Capitol Hill, plus the included pocket office would give him the perfect Zoom background for remote appearances on ATN, trying to drum up support for his campaign, or at least get it beyond 1% in the polls. As the new co-CEO of Waystar, Roman has been tasked with getting the movie studio in line and to stop hemorrhaging money. He makes a trip out to Hollywood where he doesn't exactly make a lot of friends with the studio's leadership. While he has the attitude of a New Yorker through and through, Roman's gonna need a crash pad in Los Angeles for all those trips out to the studio, and Inspire Hollywood is the perfect fit for him. With stunning views of the Hollywood sign and expandable studios featuring the cloud bed, Inspire Hollywood is the perfect choice for an executive like Roman Roy. Even though they promise not to screw her over, Shiv knows she's in a vulnerable position with her two brothers now serving as co-CEO at Waystar. She's gonna wanna stay close to the seats of power in the media world, so being in New York is gonna be a top priority. I think the expandable studios with a cloud bed at the Greenpoint is perfect for her. Now, you might think she's someone who's gonna stay in Manhattan, but the Greenpoint has it all. You're right next to the ferry so you can easily get into the city, and it's got luxury amenities. There's even a giant cause statue out in front of the building. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications. We put out weekly videos with tours of expandable apartments, interviews with residents, and just fun videos like this one. Tom has become far and away my favorite character on the show. He's just so quotable. After his split with Shiv, Tom could really use a break and go back to the Twin Cities to spend time with his family. That's why I'm gonna suggest that Tom checks out Ratio Apartments in Columbia Heights, Minnesota. That way he can be close to his family and still close to everything Minneapolis has to offer. And with the cloud bed and pocket closet included in these units, you could say they're not only expandable, but ludicrously capacious. Cousin Greg may want to be a shrewd businessman, but we all know he's just not cut out for that life. He's young and still in party mode. It would behoove him to get away from the coastal cities and be somewhere with a great nightlife scene where he can sow his wild oats and be away from all the backstabbing in the media industry. That's why Greg should really think about moving to Austin, Texas and the Sienna. Austin has a great nightlife, fun clubs, and live music almost everywhere you look. Cousin Greg can go live it up on 6th Street and then come home and crash in his expandable studio with the cloud bed and pocket office, and maybe even carve out a business of his own in Austin's growing startup scene. 
Thanks again for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos about Ori Expandable Apartments. I'm Andrew, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.